G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, we're gonna to have a look at a legend amongst the Australian venomous snakes. And that'd be this fella here, the King Brown or the Mulga. So stick around, guys. They're pretty dangerous. Wicked Wildlife encounter, this is telling our So the name King Brown is a bit of a bad name. You see, straight off the bat, this guy here is not very closely related to the brown snakes at all. He's very different physically. Uh, if you've seen our video on the Eastern Brown Snake, the Eastern Brown is quite a slender, athletic, fast-moving snake. This guy here, he's heavy built, he's solid, he's totally different physically. More importantly, however, his venom is completely different. If you were bitten by this guy here, the Mulga or the King Brown, brown snake antivenine is not going to help you. If calling this guy a brown snake is inaccurate, what's even stranger is in the 1800s, when this guy was first described, he was classified in the genus Naya, which made him a cobra, which is way off the mark. But today, we know this guy is Pseudocus australis. Basically, he's officially a black snake. So, being a black snake, this guy is far less venomous than the brown snakes is often mistaken for, like the eastern and the western brown snake. So what they lack in toxicity, they make up for in sheer bulk. This guy here could grow up to be three meters long, making him arguably the biggest venomous snake in Australia. It's true that the coastal taipan can grow longer from time to time, but they lack the sheer bulk that the king brown or the mulga can really get to. This guy is a big venomous snake. Now with being a big snake comes big venom glands. And these guys are capable of injecting up to 150 milligrams of venom in one milking. A tiger snake on the other hand, is only capable of giving 10 to 40 milligrams. So this guy in one bite can inject more venom than any other snake in the country. Along with this big size also comes a big appetite. And the mulga is not a fussy eater. These guys will happily eat everything from small mammals and birds to frogs to other venomous snakes. In fact, in 2007, Adelaide Zoo actually tried along with arid recovery, releasing woma pythons into a place where they'd been endangered. And unfortunately, within about four months, all nine of the woma pythons that they were tracking were eaten by king brown snakes. So this guy's a snake eater. These guys are also highly adaptable. They're found everywhere from sandy deserts to gibber plains, dry eucalyptus forests, essentially everywhere in the country except the rainforest and the really cool alpine regions. This tolerance of different types of habitat, along with this willingness to eat pretty much anything, means that this guy here has the widest distribution of any snake in the country. He's found in every state and territory of Australia, except for Victoria and Tasmania, where due to being an egg-laying species, it's just slightly too cool to reproduce. So all things considered, while a lot of people argue that the word mulga is a more appropriate name due to this guy not being a brown snake, when you think of his natural history, his big size, his big venom yield, big appetite and big distribution, he's certainly a king whether it's the King Brown, King Black, or just the king of all Australian snakes. And I think he is really, really cool. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below or like our Facebook page so you don't miss any of our other videos. And if you'd like to become involved, maybe check out our Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash Wicked Wildlife, where you can contribute to our videos getting better and better every single week. That's all, guys. So for now, be nice to snakes. Have a good one and take care.